So this looks like Levi Stadium behind me, but I'm not really certain. Where in the heck are we, Sally? We are indeed at Levi Stadium. We're here in Santa Clara, California, in the Bay Area, the heart of technology, on October 2nd, and we're celebrating our World Safety Summit on Autonomous Technology. And today is the hashtag World Safety Automation Day as declared by the City of Santa Clara, right? Indeed. There is a proclamation that today, October 2nd, is uh, World Safety Automation Day here in Santa Clara. And you've brought together uh, just an amazing group of speakers and exhibitors. Yeah, we're thrilled to have different um, members of this community. So people who were members of safety coalitions, regulators, government, within the industry, and more come out, come together collaboratively to display, demonstrate, and be a part of this educational movement to get autonomous vehicles on the roadway for the sake of safety. Well, and I think that was an important thing. Now, clearly, Velodyne is a technology company, and yeah. we're looking at your LiDAR in the background or the results of it, but this was much more than technology. Definitely. This is more than technology. We're, we're really talking about safety here. So our biggest concern right now is roadway safety, and we know that 1.3 million people die globally on the roadways. It's an epidemic. 93% of that is caused by human error. So we're coming together to solve this issue and you know take these tragedies off the roadway, get family members members back home safely every single day. Well, and just that, uh, you know, by the groups you had, AARP, MAD, I mean, I think that spoke volumes. Absolutely. Mothers Against Drunk Driving believes firmly in our technology. You know, they've done what they can do for years and years and years. They themselves say, people understand. We've changed behavior and gone as far as we can. People know it's not okay to, to drink and drive and get in the car. So the last kind of gap that we have is actually getting people out of the vehicles. You know, if people who are drunk can't get in the vehicles or have an automated vehicle to take them home, you're, you're creating mass safety on the roadways. Well, another group that was represented here in one of the panels are seniors who may not want to drive all the time. Right. So automated vehicles are not just, I mean, absolutely top priority is safety, but also accessibility. And even environmental benefits are a part of what automated vehicles can bring to globally to all of our communities. So we heard Jerry, for example, who is a writer. Um, he is in a retirement community in San Jose. And he had said, you know, you wouldn't be able to pry the vehicle out of my hands. And then he got in the car and he realized, wow, I mean, this is a, this is a game changer. You know, I can get where I need to, to, to go with ease and just have this access. Well, another thing from the exhibitor standpoint, you had a variety that dealt more than just with automated vehicles, but with some of the ways the technology can be used. Yeah, absolutely. One really interesting piece of technology that we had was from China, and we had an, a street sweeper that was called an iDriver street sweeper. It's being deployed all over China in Beijing, for example, and it's cleaning up the streets right now as we speak. And so, I mean, what a benefit just to bring that cleanliness to our environments. We even had an autonomous orchard sprayer. So, you know, going and fertilizing crops, uh, you know, over there in Fresno. So, not too far from the Bay Area. Yeah, and I think that was one of the impressions I got from a cargo drone uh, a company that I yeah. spoke to, is that there's new applications, so it's not necessarily taken away from what exists. Right? Oh, absolutely not. So what, the cool thing, too, is what we're seeing is as new applications arise, we're seeing new benefits, and we're even you know seeing new jobs being created, which is really cool. So one of the droning companies, for example, has gone on these like amazing journeys to map places where we've never been and, and doing so non-intrusively, so it's not invasive. So we're able to, like, safely map environments, even, you know, map out highways and make them safer without disrupting the flow of traffic. I mean, you really see these, these myriad benefits all over. One of the neat things I saw were a lot of students here. Oh my gosh, yes. So we're really excited. Veladin is excited. We partner with local high schools all over the Bay Area, and it's um, part of a program that we have. We really think it's important for students to understand the technology that's happening in their backyard, and then having them come out and engage with the technology, they get to feel more safe um, about the idea of autonomous vehicles, and then they also, like, you know, go home, tell their neighbor, tell their family member, and, you know, there's a lot of excitement, not only in getting AVs on the roadway, but also for them, what they want to grow up and be, their careers. It's really, really exciting for us. Well, that's excellent. I appreciate being here, and thank you, Sally.